As you can see, it was a bit of a rush to get on our train, even though we left ages to get on it. It's a bit difficult going around busy stations with your suitcases. Today we're going from Tokyo to Shin Hakodate Hokuto, which is in Hokkaido. It's going to take four hours. And then tomorrow we're going from Hakodate to Sapporo, which will be another four hours. If you do the whole thing in one go, it's eight hours from Tokyo to Hokkaido. But we decided to stop over in Hakodate overnight so we can see what's there and explore a bit more of Hokkaido on the way. And then when we come back to Tokyo, we're going to be stopping over on the way back to just to see a bit more of Japan. Today, we're going right to the end of the bullet train line. After that, you have to change to a regular train, which is why it takes just as long to go a shorter distance. It's actually quite busy on the Shinkansen today. I think there must be a lot of people, especially other tourists, going from Tokyo to Hokkaido because it's a Sapporo Snow Festival. So I'm going to take you with me on the journey and show you what it's like doing eight hours on the Shinkansen in real time. <laughs> I'm going to edit out the boring bits. If you want to know more about taking the train in Japan, have a look at my Japanning series. There's lots of tips for planning your trip. There's a playlist on my channel and there's new Japan videos every Thursday if you want to subscribe. It's quite quiet on the Shinkansen, so if you can't hear me, turn the subtitles on. We're on the Hayabusa, which is the fastest Shinkansen there is. Uh, with your Japan Rail Pass, you're not allowed to go on the Nozomi, which is the fastest Shinkansen between Tokyo and Kyoto and other parts of Japan as well. But you are allowed to go on the Hayabusa, which goes between Tokyo and Hokkaido for some reason. And it goes faster than the Nozomi, it goes up to 300 kilometers an hour. Mm -hmm. We managed to put our suitcases in a luggage section that's near the doors. There is room in front of your knees for a suitcase there and you can put your hand luggage on the overhead racks. So there's quite a lot of leg room and there's little hooks and there's little hooks to hang up all your stuff. So it is pretty comfortable on here and you get a little table if you have something to eat or do some work on the train. The bullet train is pretty comfortable and it's clean. When it gets to its final destination, a special team has just seven minutes to clean the whole train. It's been called the seven minute miracle. We were in a rush to get to our platform, so the food options nearby weren't that great. Probably would have been better off going to the convenience store before we left the hotel. But I grabbed this fruit sandwich for breakfast. Fresh and tasty. This one's got a mixture of fruits in and sweet whipped cream. And the bread's really soft and fluffy. I really like fruit sandwiches. Although this is 100 kilometers an hour faster than other Shinkansen I've been on, it actually feels pretty similar. It's really smooth and the landscape moves by quite fast so it doesn't get boring. We're just going into Fukushima Prefecture. This is how far we've gone from Tokyo in an hour. It's really amazing. We can go that far that quickly. And here's where we're going all the way up here to Hakodate in Hokkaido. This journey we're doing today is four hours on the bullet train. If you were to drive, it would take 12 hours. Trains in Japan are so good that you really don't need to hire a car, unless you're going somewhere remote that you can't get to easily on the train. Every time I try and film out the window, the barriers come along or a big building or a tunnel or something. I'm gonna be looking out for the first snow as we get further north. It's actually pretty warm in Tokyo today. It's early February and it's about 17 degrees today, which seems really warm. But when we get to Hakodate, it's going to be about minus 10. <laughs> I'm actually a bit scared about how cold it's going to be. I've never been anywhere that cold. If you're taking the Shinkansen, I would normally recommend that you book a seat. But on this train, the Hayabusa, you don't have a choice. You have to reserve. There's no unreserved seats. It's covered by your JR pass and it doesn't cost anything to make a reservation. Usually you make your reservations at the ticket office when you get to Japan, but for JR East you can reserve online. JR East is the section above Tokyo. I always think of it as North, but they call it East. It's all in English and you can make your reservations before you go, then when you get to Japan, pick them up from the ticket office. You have to specify which station you're going to pick them up from and which day you're going to collect them. Here's some of the snacks you can get from the trolley on the train. There's dried sea pineapple, salami, cheese sticks wrapped in cod, 
some nuts and things. They've got cans of wine. These are the souvenir snacks. They're sort of regional things, including Tokyo banana. And on the back you can get a toy Shinkansen, a special Shinkansen pen, 1,100 yen. It's to ensure a comfortable train ride. Don't make too much noise. And that includes typing loudly on keyboards. No talking loudly. Here's the map of the train. Green car is like first class and grand class is even better than first class. It's very fancy. They're like airline seats and I think you get a free drink and a hot towel. If you want to try out the green car, that's first class, you can get a special JR pass that gives you access. It costs a bit more than the normal one. But even standard class is better than most trains I've been on in the UK. I'd love to see what grand class is like. I just spotted the first snow. We're about halfway through the trip. It's two hours since we left Tokyo. This is where we are between Sendai and Morioka. We're in Iwate Prefecture, coming up to Hanamaki. We're just coming into Morioka. This drink was delicious. It's mikan juice. It tastes a bit like satsuma juice with loads of bits in it. To take this journey from Tokyo to Sapporo by plane would take 90 minutes. I wanted to take the bullet train so we could stop over on the way. And if you have a JR pass, the whole trip's included, so it's cheaper but you can get internal flights for less than 10,000 yen each way. So if you don't need a JR pass otherwise, that could be the cheaper option. Here's the area between the carriages. There's the toilets out here. There's a little sink and a mirror, a multi-purpose room. There's a bin. This is where you're supposed to come if you want to make a phone call or anything so you don't disturb the other people. It looks so cold now. It looks kind of misty and really snowy. It's interesting just looking out the window and watching the scenery changing. Because we know Japan's really densely populated country and it's also really mountainous. And you can really see how every inch of the land has been used for something. There is towns and houses, rice fields and farming. And the only parts that aren't used are the mountains which are all covered in trees. We're just coming into Hachinohe and it's really snowy here. We'd been through a tunnel for a bit so I couldn't see what was outside and we came out and now it's snowing and there's snow everywhere. For me that's exciting because in the UK it doesn't really snow that much and I grew up near London where it hardly ever snows so for me it's extra exciting. Wow, it looks so misty out there. It must be really cold. Dale's got an Ekiben. It's a special bento lunch box that you can only get at Shinkansen station and they're very fancy. I just picked this one completely at random because I was in a rush. This box looks like wood but it's actually polystyrene or something. <laughs> Big reveal, go on. Uh, so I've got an egg. Um, I'm not sure what fish. I'm not sure if that is fish. That's fish. Maybe a sesame mochi there. Yeah. Something. Some vegetable. There's carrot there. I can't see what's below it. It's kind of hard to tell what some of these things are, isn't it? Yep. I've got a shoe cream pan, shoe cream bread. It says vanilla and whipped, like whipped cream. I actually thought this was cheese. <laughs> Again, it was another quick grab from the kiosk on the platform. It's really soft bread. It actually tastes like brioche and it's got like custard cream inside. It's pretty, it's quite sweet. It's pretty nice actually. Bit of a strange lunch. <laughs> I'm just having a couple of bits out of the Eki Ben. This is pickled plum. It's really strong. <laughs> advanced Japanese food. This is the pudding in the ekiben. It's a mochi covered in sesame seeds filled with sweet red bean paste. I do love sesame. It's 
it's really misty outside, everything is white. This looks like Hokkaido, but we're actually still in Tohoku, that's the area above Tokyo. There's lots to explore here. It doesn't seem to be as popular with tourists as the Golden Route down to Kyoto, so you don't tend to hear as much about it, but there's lots of places I'd like to go. This last section of the line between Aomori, I never know how to say that, and Hakodate started running in 2016. At the moment, they're building tunnels to extend the line so it goes all the way to Sapporo. It's gonna be finished by March 2030, and when it's done, it'll take about five hours to go all the way from Tokyo to Sapporo, making it much easier to visit Hokkaido. We might be going too fast now, but there's sprinklers down there on the tracks, I guess, to keep the snow off them. We're under the sea at the moment. We're between the main island, Honshu, and Hokkaido, the north island where we're going to, so no view out the window at the moment. This is the Seikan or Saikan tunnel, and it's actually the longest tunnel in the world. So it's only three more kilometers longer than the Channel Tunnel between England and France. It's boring being in the tunnel. <laughs> There's nothing to look at. We've got about half an hour till we get there at Hakodate. We're in Hokkaido. Oh. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> We just arrived in Hakodate and checked into our hotel and this time we've got a traditional Japanese hotel with futons and tatami mats. This is the Hotel Ekime and it's just by Hakodate Station. This room was only £47 for the night. It is a budget hotel but all round rooms in Hakodate are cheaper than Tokyo. They do have normal rooms as well but I thought it'd be fun to stay in the Japanese style hotel. So we've got tatami mats here on the floor and the futons are ready to fold out for the night time and a nice Japanese pattern on the wall. Normally you'd sit on the bed in a hotel. Here we've got these floor cushions. Everything's low down because of that. We've got the TV, the table's low. This unit here, we've got a fridge. This is kind of a cute old fashioned thing for the, uh, the cups. <laughs> and the bathroom in here is your traditional budget Japanese hotel bathroom really. It sort of comes as one whole unit. It looks like you could just take it out. In fact, I think when they're building places, sometimes they do arrive just as a bathroom pod. It's quite small. We've got the Japanese toilet with all the buttons. Got quite a few things, toothbrushes, cotton buds and things. And here's the bath and shower. And as usual in a Japanese hotel, it's a shorter bath than you get in a Western hotel. So there we are. I think it's pretty good for the price. It's quite nice. And it's a really good location right by the station. Oh, it's snowing. <laughs> That's the station just over there. We went a really roundabout way to get here, but it's actually very close. I actually really like staying here. It's nothing fancy, but it has a nice feel. And I liked how everything was low down. It feels cozy. Sleeping on a futon on the floor was strange at first, but it is actually really comfortable. They're so fluffy, it's like being in a cloud. And in a small room, it's really good to be able to fold them away for more space. Next time, we'll be venturing out into the snow and minus 11 degrees centigrade to explore Hakodate and see one of Japan's top three night views. I'll see you on Thursday.